Hello, lovies. We're back with Parenting Pause this week to continue our series on parenting teens. <laughs> I know so many people are scared of teens or don't like teens or have so many opinions about teens. And let me tell you, they're some of my favorite, favorite folks in the whole world. I absolutely loved parenting my teen and being with all her friends. And yeah, are they risk takers? Yes. Are they going to do things that scare us and uh, we don't want them to do? Yes. Remember, they are teenagers. They're growing, they're learning, they're individuating, they're finding their way. And what I decided with my teen, it was very, very important that I wanted her to know herself, not to know me. I wanted to come alongside her and really support her in her risk tolerance, in knowing what she was open to, how things were going to turn out. I wanted her to use her brain. I didn't want her just to look outside. And that can be really, really hard because of course we're overprotective. It's such a wild, wild west out there. And we're really afraid of all of the platforms, all the social media, all the things that our kids could get into. Well, that was even more important to me because I wasn't going to be with my daughter when she was at high school, when she was being offered drugs, when she was being, uh, things were being shared with her, I wasn't going to be with her to protect her. So it made it very, very important for me that she know herself. And I'm telling you, it is hard for most parents that I talk with with teens because they have a conditioned belief about them. We kind of believe that they don't love themselves, that they don't want to take care of themselves, that they're um, dangerous, that they you know, just don't care. It's not true. It really isn't. If you really slow down and you drop all that conditioning, of course our teens love themselves. And of course they don't want to die. And of course they want to be successful. They're just at a different stage in life. And if we can remember this, we can slow way down. And that's what's required. As I talked last week, when we put all our contracts in the closet or in the cabinet, in the uh, drawer, (laughs) that's what I was talking about. When we put those contracts away and we really start working with our sense of powerlessness, that we can't protect them in the ways that we used to. We feel powerless to help them make good decisions or to keep them from making decisions that might later affect their life. It is such a time where we feel powerless and we start to see them as helpless. As I always say in Pure Joy, if you want to help someone, you have to see them as helpless. Well, I never saw my daughter as helpless. I saw her as young. I saw her as learning the ropes of life. So I I wanted to get that healthy separation and be able to come um, come alongside her and ask her, how did she feel about things? Did she feel safe? Was she comfortable? What did she think was going to happen? Did she want to try drugs and alcohol? What was her tolerance level to try things, to be with things, to experiment? And it was extremely empowering for her and empowering for me to recognize that my daughter had this wisdom inside and I could always share with her my outside and I did. I always shared with her what I thought the risk were because I didn't really know. I grew up in a different time. I grew up in a different place. I grew up with different risk and risk tolerance. So I didn't really know. So I couldn't say this is all bad and you're going to get in trouble and you shouldn't do this and alcohol is wrong and bad. And, you know, anytime I did that, I got very one-sided and I wasn't supporting my daughter and having really good to think things through, to really check in with herself and ask herself, did she really want to have certain experiences? So I would tell her everything I knew about alcohol. I grew up on an alcohol So, of course, there was a part of me that was nervous and scared. I didn't want my daughter to, you know, go through what I went through on either side. And so, of course, I wanted to 
project that onto her and say, well, this is all bad and you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't stay away. But what I discovered was if I do that now, what happens when she gets to college or what happens when she gets out on her own and she doesn't have one that, someone that's beside her that can come alongside, that can support her in thinking it through, that can support her in knowing what experiences she wants to have and how to have them safely, not black and white, not to have them and be totally out there or not to have them at all. So lovies, this is my great love in being with all kids, even when they're younger, to support them in knowing, thinking, going through scenarios, not just saying yes or no. (laughs) And that's a hard one because we want to be in power. We want to, of course, it's innocent because we want to protect our kids from all the crazy things in the world. And when you finally realize you're sitting on the ground of powerlessness once they leave your door, um, even when they're young, when they go to school, once they leave your vicinity, they are being influenced. They are meeting things. So wouldn't you want them to know how to keep themselves self-saves? Wouldn't you want them to know what their risk tolerance is? Wouldn't you want to support them in making choices that are good for them? Remember, they're not here to make us comfortable and to do what we want them to do. They are here to find out who they are. All right, have a great week this week. Hope you get in the cool with this warm weather we're having and yeah summer will pass <laughs> all right lovies have a great one thank you for listening to this episode of parenting Post. if you enjoyed the episode do me a favor and share it with your mama friends You can also leave a review wherever you listen, which will support getting the Pure Joy message out. Come on over to the Pure Joy Parenting Practice Facebook page or join me on Instagram to hear more. And don't forget to download your free copy of the Safe Seat course on the Pure Joy website. And while there, check out the offerings page to go deeper in the Pure Joy work.